What's up everyone? John Rettinger from TechnoBuffalo.com here with a review for you of the 150 watt hour HyperMac external battery for your MacBook, MacBook Pro, or MacBook Air. You don't see really any or at all external batteries for the MacBook line. That's mostly because Apple doesn't license out their MagSafe adapter. But somehow there is a MagSafe adapter that is included with the HyperMac. And I'm not entirely sure how or why that is. Perhaps they just bought a MagSafe adapter and sliced it up. But it is here and it does function. So like I mentioned, I've got the 150 watt hour model. It does come in four different sizes. And this particular one is going to run you $399, just about 400 bucks. So what I gotta say is this thing is actually fantastic. It works completely as advertised. I got, and this is no joke, 20 hours of battery life with this sucker fully charged and a full charge on my MacBook Unibody. 20 hours, I had to fight to get the battery to die to drain it. I <laughs> left it online, brightness all the way up, and I went to bed. Came back and I still had 60% of the battery left. This thing is absolutely fantastic if you're a road warrior or you're away from your home or away from a charger for very long, this almost becomes a must-have accessory. So let me walk you through it and show you what it is. So it is encased in aluminum. It does have a very similar feel to the MacBook and the MacBook family. On the side of the device, you've got your charging port. So it just plugs in with an AC adapter to charge. You've got a button that gives you an LED indicator that lets you know how much power you have in it. So as you charge all the way up, those lights will light up. It does have a USB port, which is pretty cool. You can use it to charge really anything with USB, so your iPhone, whatever it might be. And here is your uh, DC out port. Really is nothing else. It's got some white accents on it. And other than that, it's just straight aluminum. But it does come with a cigarette or airplane charger for it. And, of course, your MagSafe with the charging port on the end. There's not that much I can say about this other than it really just works and it works very well. If you're not scoffing at the $400 price point, it's because you need something like this. And if you need something like this, you can get it worry-free and take my assurance that it functions absolutely as advertised. And it is quite small. You can get smaller sizes if you like. Certainly you'll get less battery life. But it fits very nicely into a bag. Let me give you a size comparison with a device you guys probably know, the iPhone. It's not that thick, and size-wise, it's not that big. I mean, it definitely fits nicely, lengthwise, right into a bag. I I've been thrilled with it. It's become a must-have accessory for me if I want to go out and blog or want to edit a video when I'm not at home. It's just been fantastic to have, so I can definitely recommend it. I'll put a link to the website where you can purchase this up in the sidebar in case you are interested. Anyway guys, just a short review of the HyperMac external battery for your MacBook. Hope you enjoyed. For exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash john 4 lakers Or to learn more about Techno Buffalo and get some exclusive details there, be sure to follow Techno Buffalo at twitter.com slash techno buffalo. See you guys in the next one. Bye.